There's no easy way to put it. The United States and China are disastrously close to wiping each other off the surface of the planet. It appears nothing can prevent the impending conflict. All efforts have proven futile. Up against its biggest rival in the world, China is arming up like never before. In fact, the country is building a class of machinery that simply does not exist yet. Drone-based aircraft carriers. In the 1900s, military aircraft proved indispensable in conflict over and over again. In no time, they got integrated into virtually every aspect of the military. The Army, Navy, and of course, entire air forces revolve around them for air forces that know what they're doing. History appears to be repeating itself. With the rise and dominance of drones in the most intense conflicts in recent times, military assets have started to revolve around the lethal, unmanned machines. Just like aircraft carriers were invented in the 1900s, drone carriers are currently being invented, and they promise to make aircraft carriers look outdated. This is a direct threat to U.S. dominance, which revolves heavily around aircraft carriers. It's even more threatening to the U.S., considering that China, America's favorite headache, appears to be spearheading the quest for advanced drone carriers. About three months ago, China launched the world's first dedicated drone carrier. It's smaller and shorter than conventional aircraft carriers. But then again, drones are typically smaller and shorter than regular manned aircraft. It's a match made in heaven. The smaller size would make these carriers easier and cheaper to operate than conventional aircraft carriers. Does this mean conventional aircraft carriers are significantly more capable than the drone carrier? Not necessarily. Both sides have their strengths and weaknesses. In an October 2023 UK Defense Journal article, national security veteran Alexander Gates mentions that drone carriers offer the same power projection advantages as conventional aircraft carriers allowing states to conduct unmanned aerial operations at greater distances outside their territory. This is true. Not only that, the drones they host themselves offer a safer and more cost-effective alternative to the manned aircraft on conventional carriers. Drones are perfect for the most dangerous of tasks, since there are no personnel lives to be lost. Therefore, drones can really fly to the edge of the battle, dance around, play, wonder what life is all about, perform intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance tasks, destroy targets, and so on. Not to mention, they are generally cheaper to build and maintain than manned aircraft, which means they can be employed by both middle-income and high-income states. However, on the flip side, they are generally not as lethal as manned aircraft, and by extension, drone carriers will likely not be as dominant as conventional aircraft carriers. But maybe they don't need to be. Drones can attack in swarms. During a conflict, numbers matter quite a lot. Swarming offensive and defensive systems have been widely effective so far in recent major conflicts. The Russo-Ukraine conflict, the Israel-Gaza conflict, the battle between the Houthis and the U.S. allies, and so on. For these reasons and more, China built a dedicated drone carrier. But the U.S. is ready. With the largest aircraft carrier fleet in the world, the U.S. is arming its ships with the one weapon that promises to reduce drones back to play toys or scrap metal. The laser weapon. High Energy Laser with Optical Dazzler and Surveillance – Helios Helios is one of the most promising laser weapons in the U.S. inventory. It is a 60 to 120 kilowatt high energy laser weapon developed by industry leader Lockheed Martin. Four decades of experience with laser weapons went into the development of Helios. The $150 million contract to build Helios was issued six years ago, in 2018. Four years later, in 2022, the weapon was ready for installation, testing, and trials. Helios was installed on the Burke-class destroyer USS Preble, where it replaces a 20mm Vulcan cannon-armed MK-15 Phalanx close-in weapon system on the frontal section of the ship. With the installation complete, trials and testing were next. That alone would cost $19 million. Steep, no doubt, but well worth it. From the ship, Helios can take out targets over 5 miles away. 
the targets in focus are drones and small boats. These pose some serious threats, especially when operating in swarms. So far, the U.S. military has been forced to use million-dollar missiles to take out these relatively cheap threats, some of which cost as low as a few thousand dollars. But with Helios, the cost disproportion is shifted in favor of the United States. Helios has a cost of fire reportedly within the price range of a cup of coffee, much more convenient than the million-dollar price tags of defensive missiles. This is far from all that makes Helios special. The laser beams shot by Helios travel at the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second, the fastest thing in the universe. This means targets have a very tiny chance of evading certain destruction. In addition to grilling targets to the ground, Helios doubles as a dazzler to obscure adversarial spying and attacks by blinding sensors and confusing missiles. It then triples as a long-range intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance tool by having its sensors integrated into the powerful Aegis system. Aegis is the U.S. Navy's most advanced surface combat system. It provides decision-makers with sufficient information to make calculated decisions and determine optimal solutions in real time. And in the heat of a conflict, timing is always crucial. Adding the Helio systems will definitely do some good and ultimately improve the survivability of U.S. ships, including the ships that currently host Helios, such as USS Preble, and ships that could wield it in the future, such as the Navy's largest and most advanced ship, USS Gerald Ford Aircraft Carrier. The Navy cannot afford to lose the USS Gerald Ford, figuratively and literally. The ship costs a heavy $13 billion and hosts 4,500 people. Losing it is synonymous with losing an entire billion-dollar city along with hundreds of millions of dollars worth of aircraft. And worst of all, a colony of people on board. The carrier must be defended by the best defense systems that cannot be evaded or outrun. Combine this with the traditional capabilities of the USS Ford, and you have a beast of a machine that's almost impossible to defeat. These capabilities include Number 3. Nuclear Power Two Bechtel A1B nuclear reactors, arguably the most cutting-edge engines created for use on water, power the USS Gerald Ford. As a result, the carrier would only need to be refueled once over its entire 50-year operational life, as these engines make use of the everlasting nature of nuclear energy. This means USS Ford can run for 25 years without refueling. And with a peak speed of around 30 knots, the Ford becomes a true global voyager that arrives anywhere around the world in time to make a difference, like it did during the breakout of the Israel-Gaza conflict. Number 2. Massive Air Wing the U.S. Navy has more aircraft than every air force in the world outside the United States. These include everything from fighters to surveillance aircraft to helicopters and so on. Up to 75 of these aircraft can call the USS Ford home at a time. Included in this lineup are the E-2 Hawkeye, the F-A-18 Super Hornet, and the Navy's favorite child, the F-35 Lightning II whose development program remains the most expensive weapons development program of the Pentagon to date, with a reported cost of $400 billion. The result of such an expensive program is a fighter that really can do it all. Close air support, vertical takeoff and landing, and everything in between, cementing it as the modern go-to fighter for the Navy and every other department of the military. In addition to these, the U.S. Navy is also developing drones that can take off from the deck of the USS Ford. Such is the versatility of this aircraft carrier and its siblings. The systems on board make them capable of hosting and operating the widest array of aircraft, from manned aircraft to drones. The most crucial of such systems are the Advanced Launch and Arrest Systems. Number 1. Advanced Launch and Arrest Systems an electromagnetic launch system catapults every kind of manned and unmanned aircraft to the sky in the shortest possible distance, and an arresting gear that saves them from becoming sea divers by grinding them to a sharp halt. Before these systems were steam-powered systems that did the same job but far less effectively. As a result, the newer systems on the USS Ford offer 4,100 takeoffs and 16,500 arrests before faults, while the preceding systems offer far less. 
This means more aircraft could take off from this carrier and land on it in the shortest possible time than aircraft carriers without these systems. An edge that would make a world of difference on the battlefield. China just might have reason to be worried. At this point, who doesn't? The relationship between two of the most powerful nations in the world continues to deteriorate for many reasons, but most especially territory. Both sides are prepared to go to fight to defend their stance. If the tensions aren't eased soon, the conflict of the century could break out and it will most definitely change the world as we know it. Mass destruction would be normal. Many people will not survive it. To put an end to this, China and the United States need you to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. Do this now to save the world. Thanks for watching.